Does that make him a stronger swordsman because he has a strong devil fruit to help in his? I don't really just agree with that. Personally, I don't think Law is a better swordsman than Zoro. But I mean, I I think the best things about Law that make him Law are his devil fruit and backstory. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Snow, aka Coach John. I'm here with my guy. Straight and Hey, and we're here on JVTV Anime, where we love anime. Today, we're going to be talking about some great art the Master Oda has given us. Incredible artists. 1039. If y'all haven't read it, thought it's about spoilers. It. If you have not read it, do not watch the rest. This is uh this is definitely a review, so we definitely will be spoiling a lot of things. So definitely go check that out first. What are you saying, Trey? What I thought about the chapter. Yep. I think the chapter. I think it was a pretty good chapter. They've been uh shit. They've been fighting. They've been fighting Big Mom for a minute. I have. I, mean, I, I expected that. Like, it's Big Mom. Which uh, well, definitely so. She's a Yonko. I didn't think it turned out like the way it did. True. But. True. Honestly, I don't think it is what it is. I think they just left, left, left it like that. Like. Okay, so boom. We're going to jump into it. Skipping the cover pages because we're just going to do those videos later. <clears throat> the very first page, we got Momo doing his job. Um, saving Ashigo Mishima from landing on the Capitol. Mm. Um, so boom, when y'all saw that, what do y'all think this feat is going to mean for Momo when he accomplishes because we know he's going to accomplish it. We're not, he's not going to let all the citizens of Wano die. So when he does accomplish this feat, how do you think the, what do you think is going to do for like his confidence and how the, the city of Wano is going to look at him as their new Shogun? Yeah, the city going to feel more comfortable with him, with him as the Shogun. He's right. going he to get his respect and honestly, I don't think he's going to have a little sissy ass fucking attitude he's been having when it comes to his confidence because the shit's been trash. I think he gonna actually gain his confidence because he did something. He did something Kaido did. Except instead of trying to destroy it, he pulled that bitch back. So I do want to figure out who the hell calling out to this nigga. I did find that weird because... You said calling out to him? Yeah, that's what he said. He said, who the hell is calling out to me? Somebody oh, we know who's calling out to him. I think the him. fact that the I city was in danger was to his instincts. That was his instincts. Because he's just like naturally supposed to be the show, the show going or what was that? Um, I'm not sure what part y'all. I can I can definitely tell you who the fuck's calling out to him. I think it's Zo since Zo just pulled up to the fucking. Boom! There we go. Okay. Um, okay. but Zo is calling out to him this chapter too. Or are you talking about something else? No, I'm saying he, from he, last chapter. He said, "Uh, see, really? hmm, this is someone calling for me. This someone calling. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I definitely think that's Zo. Um, because I th I think the whole reason Zo pulled up to Wano right now is for Momo. Honestly, me personally. That's just me. But no, I definitely agree with you, Trey. I think um, when when uh, the war is over and Momo is announced like the official Shogun, the fact that he literally saved the city before he was even announced Shogun is going to be a really good light in all the citizens' eyes. He's going to make them more beloved. Exactly. Plus, it's his rightful spot, throne, regardless. So, yeah, even more so. People going to feel like he was supposed to be this way. Dead ass. Um, but... <clears throat> Then we get into the actual chapter, chapter, the real stuff. Uh, going back to this fight with Big Mom and uh, and Law and Kid. Um, before the fight even, well, before the chapter goes back to it, last chapter we saw a Kid do a, a, a brand new move, the uh, the mechanical bull or the more trash together, like a bigger trash can to hit you. With. <laughs> he, we yeah, more, and it's crazy because when I when I saw him do it after Law just did that live shit because that was some live shit that Law did. When I when I saw him do it and they ended the chapter, I was really like, okay, it's a bigger bull and it's bigger than Big Mom, but I don't even think it's really just about to like hurt Big nah, Mom that I much. Ain't gonna cap, bro. I ain't think she was said. She said, bro, her hand. Was Hand was no, yeah, it's crazy. Really it actually, broken. it actually did a lot more damage than I thought it was gonna. I didn't think it was gonna break any of Big Mom's bones. So she that got, was she got fucked up. No, def, it's crazy because when I when I saw him hit her, because the bullet is it's mass, it's way bigger than Big Mom, and that's saying something. But even with seeing that, I I didn't I didn't look, I didn't disrespect it and look at it like when Frankie hit her with that motorcycle and just ran <laughs> over her face. I, I wasn't disrespecting it to that level, but. 
I didn't expect any like severe damage to be dealt to Big Mom once she got up from that. 